How much of you was thinking, right, I wish we could have had days like these a few weeks ago? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it would have been of, of nice to have had a day like this at, at Edgebaston Edge or Trent Bridge. Um, disappointing, obviously, that, that we can't win the series. But, um, you know, Michael said before this test match that, that he wanted a lot of fight and character from us. And I think the way we batted and grinded out in the first innings, um, particularly early on day one, I, I thought the openers were, were outstanding. Um, they really set the tone for us. Um, and to have posted 480 was a, was a, a pretty good effort um, on that wicket. And to have them eight for a, 100, um, very good couple of days. I just ask, when, when you were batting today in those circumstances, do you already feel like Australia's captain? No, not just yet. Um, obviously, this is Michael's last test match, and um, you know we all said that we wanted to, to send him and, and Chris Rogers out on a on a good note. So um, you know we're well on the way to that at the moment. Uh, Steve, if you just if you dismiss them short of the follow-on target, and if Michael comes to you as vice captain asking for your advice on the follow-on, what where do you think, or what will you, what will your advice be given? I guess the forecast for Sunday and Monday. Yeah, look, uh, we'll see how we go there. It would have been nice to have uh, had that wicket tonight and, um, you know, potentially bowled them out. But, uh, look, we'll, we'll see how we go in early in the morning if we get the, the two wickets quickly. Um, Michael might think about sending them back in, but um, we'll, we'll wait and see how we go. Steve, obviously, you know, um, Eng will be lifting the urn at the end of this match, but is it kind of a partial motivation to you guys to make that experience as awkward as possible for them? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, you want to win every test match you, you play. Um, it's obviously disappointing, as I said, to, to have not um, to not be in the series in this match. But there's always plenty to play for when you, you put on the baggy green cap. And um, the way we've started this test match has, has been really good for us. And as the as the guy who's going to lead Australia in their next test match and next test series, does the performance of someone like Mitch Marsh fill you with a lot of enthusiasm for the future? Of course, yeah. I thought he's, um, you know, he's bowled really well in the couple of games he played. He, he bowled really well in North Ants in our tour match last week as well. So uh, I, th I thought all of our bowlers did a great job today. I, I think today's probably the best we've bowled all series. Um, you know, we've got the ball in the right areas, um, made them earn their runs, um, which is pretty important, I think, in these conditions. And um, you know, we've, we've reaped the rewards as well. Um, Steve, with with uh, the hundred today, and, and you at the moment the highest run scorer for the series, how do you sum up the series for you personally? Well, a little bit hot and cold, really. Um, you know, I've had a couple of good digs, I guess, the, the two hundred at Lords and the hundred here, and in between that, I've been a little bit disappointed. Um, it would have been nice to have contributed in the, the last two Test matches, but I guess that's the way the game goes. Sometimes, you know, you, you're not going to make runs every game. Um, I think you just have to pick yourself up and, and keep trying to improve it in, in the areas um, you know, where I've got out. I've, I've probably been moving across my stumps a little bit too much. Um, this game I've tried to, to change that and, and bring it back a little, uh, little bit and, and make my movement a little bit earlier. And I guess you've always got to tinker with those things to, to try and improve. And um, you know, I was disappointed with the, I guess, I, I got a couple of decent balls, but I was disappointed with my movements um, in the, the previous two test matches. And mate, you mentioned the other day that you start you, you haven't completely decided whether you'd stay at number three going forward. Does a hundred like today sort of help you make that decision, or are you still undecided? I'm still not 100 percent sure, to be honest with you. Um, oh, I'll wait to see what the selectors um, provide me with in, in Bangladesh and, and see what best suits the team at the time. Um, I guess that's all I can do going forward. Steve, uh, both yourself and Michael dismissed off no balls today overturned. Uh, Sky showed a graphic where I think on eight occasions today Mitchell Johnson overstepped and it wasn't called. Do you think it's starting to become a bit of a bad look for the game? Uh, well, look, bowlers just got to keep their foot behind the line, don't they? Um, you know, obviously I got a bit of luck on the, the one where Finn overstepped. Um, I think Aleem said it, it's quite hard to, to see when he's bowling. His back leg gets in the way or something, so he can't, he can't quite pick it up. So, um, you know, you've got to give him every chance. Um, yeah, look, uh, I think it's... You know, there, there were a few opportunities there where, where Mitchell overstepped. I think, as you said, it was, it was about eight times. So um, you'd think the umpire would be watching that kind of thing. So do we need to see maybe the third umpire getting involved in, in the umpire's ear to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future, considering it's happened twice on one day? Well, I think the, the third umpire's there for, for that reason, aren't they? they? They see every ball that's bowled. I think they've got a camera going across to, to see the front foot. So 
I'm pretty sure that the umpires communicate um, out there, so hopefully they, they keep getting it right as much as possible. Steve, um, you mentioned we felt that today was the best that the team's bowled all series. Did Peter Siddle's inclusion help in terms of the balance of things, I suppose? Not only bowling type, but getting wickets and moving the ball? Yeah, look, I, I thought Peter bowled really well today. Um, you know, he was swinging the ball a little bit and, and seaming it as well. Um, I think he was just putting the ball in the right area and let the wicket do the work. Um, so look, uh, as I said, I thought the, all of the bowlers bowled really well today. I thought Mitchell Marsh was the same. Um, you know, I keep going up to him and saying, just keep being patient, mate. Just keep doing the same thing. And today he did that. He, he was able to continue putting the ball in the right area on, you know, fourth, fifth stump and inviting the player into playing the ball. And, um, you know, I thought our, our bowlers did a terrific job. Steve, I mean, we've had a 60 all out, 100 all out, 100, eight, 100 for eight today. Is that a surprise? You should Batson be able to stick around a bit more, it's just the, of the kind of nature of the game now within looking to be so aggressive? Look, I'm not really sure why this, that's happened so much. Um, oh, I think in these conditions, you, you still need to be positive. You, you know, your defence has to be good, you've got to be leaving well, but, but when you get the ball in the, the area to score, you've, you've really got to go after it. So, um, look, I, I've never really seen a morning like Trent Bridge, to be honest with you. I, I don't think we played and missed at all. Um, everything was just nicked and, and everything went to hand. Um, so I think, you know, today was was great for us, the way we were able to, to just continue bowling in good areas and, and make them earn their runs. Uh, I don't think we over-attacked with our fields. We were able to build a little bit of pressure and, um, you know, keep putting the ball in the right area and that was pretty crucial to our success today, I think. Um, you mentioned the uh, two previous tests um, earlier. Is that, like when the runs keep coming this morning, is that still in the back of your mind, the anger about that, or is it something where you've, you've already moved on? No, I've already moved on from that. Um, you know, I was disappointed com coming into this game, but, you know, Michael said he wanted some, some character and grit out of us and to be able to grind it out. Um, so I think the way the boy, all of the batters played, um, to score 480 after be, being sent in on a wicket that was doing a, a fair bit, particularly in the, in the, on the morning yesterday, um, was a pretty good effort. Steve, just on Peter Siddle's selection, uh, it's been made public the way that it, he was chosen over Pat Cummins. I know it has absolutely nothing to do with you, but as the future captain, I mean, does it disappoint you at all that it's become a, a bit of a public issue? Yeah, look, uh, I think in the um, captain's role, I'll certainly be having a lot of conversations with the selectors uh, about what teams I want, what you know, what's best for the team, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, uh, the, the selectors have made a call in the last two test matches, you know, the, with, the, with the team that we've picked, and um, they've decided for, for Peter on this in this game, uh, and I think he's done a terrific job. Uh, Steve, we saw um, recently uh, Nathan Lyon go to the top wicket taker, top Australian wicket taker for off spinners. I think today he's now in the top ten for any off spinners. How have you sort of? How did you rate firstly that wicket of Cook, and have you, do you think he's been Australia's most consistent bowler? I guess through the whole series. Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty good ball that one, wasn't it? That, that got Cook. So look, I, I think Nathan's bowling as well as I've seen him bowl. Uh, I think he's, he's bowled really well throughout this whole series. Um, and it doesn't surprise me. He, he works extremely hard at training. He bowls a lot of overs and he's improving every day. Um, he, he's gaining a lot more confidence and, um, you know, it's great to see for Australia going forward.